Dearly beloved, we are gathered here together in the presence of family, friends, and loved ones for the purpose of uniting in matrimony. All I could think of was the part I had to play. Then suddenly I went blank. I had one line and I couldn't remember it. When the Reverend said, who presents this woman, was I supposed to say, that's me? Or was it, I do? I couldn't think. I felt every eye in the place boring into the back of my neck, waiting for me to screw up, when suddenly it was upon me. Who presents this woman in holy matrimony? I do. Annie and Brian, you have come here today to join your hands. Who presents this woman? This woman. This vow of marriage is most solemn. But she's not a woman, she's just a kid. And she's leaving us. And with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. I realized at that moment that I was never going to come home again and see Annie at the top of the stairs. Never going to see her again at our breakfast table in her nightgown and socks. I suddenly realized what was happening. Annie was all grown up and leaving us. And something inside began to hurt. I, Brian McKenzie. I, Brian McKenzie. Take thee, Annie Banks. Take thee, Annie Banks. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To love and to comfort from this day forward. To love and to comfort from this day forward. I, Annie Banks. I, Annie Banks. Take thee, Brian McKenzie. Take thee, Brian McKenzie. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To love and to comfort from this day forward. To love and to comfort from this day forward. The ring, please. With this ring, as a token of my love and affection, I thee wed. With this ring, as a token of my love and affection, I thee wed. With this ring, as a token of my love and affection, I thee wed. With this ring, as a token of my love and affection, I thee wed. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. She did it. And now, as my son said, it was time to party.